It was the best day in the universe, except for the days that were better. What do y'all think of my glasses? I was helping my sib clean out the room, his bedroom, and found these. And we put them in a box to be donated, and I donated them to myself. And I think I pulled them off a little bit. So I'm feeling very insecure about the whole concept of vlogging because people are all like, you have to tell a story, and I don't know how to make a normal day into a story. What are the vloggers? Well, yes? I mean, you, do, you, don't, you don't need to know what the story is beforehand. You just shoot the whole day, and then you look through the footage, and you find the story, and then you just cut everything else out. Can you do that? <laughs> Can you find the story? Um... Would you want gum? Oh, you're doing work stuff, huh? Would you watch my vlogs even if you didn't know, even if you were, I wasn't your sister? Really? For reals? Are you just saying that? Anyway, this is boring. So, we're going to a park to feed some ducks with, with my cousin and, and this girl and their babe. Baby. It's not like he has a girlfriend and a babe. That's weird. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't sure which which term was referring to which one. <laughs> because their their daughter is a girl and yeah. uh, I'm so confused right now. The average for there is. Like they were, they were in the spot where there is, and like. They're like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? What's wrong with the world, Mama? Acting like they ain't got no Mama. <laughs> Look at all the little Ryans. My kid got too close and he went like this. The goose face of death. I must have missed that.
they're just so tasty and no you weren't supposed to show it you ruined everything I was gonna do this I love nerds they're just so tasty and delicious and you just want to lick them they're just so good <laughs> like our place to go if we just need to get out of the house. So I decided to take the kids for a walk around the block in my old wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow? My old wagon! Ah! And I just had the strangest sense of this is weird because I wasn't an adventurous kid and this is basically my big adventure was going around this exact same block when I was a kid. There is a puppy! And it's like, okay, this is the block I walked, oh, I rode my bike around as a kid. And now I'm pulling my kids around in their wagon. This is just weird. A little bit. <laughs> Just say what's in my teeth. I stinking love YouTube. How amazing is it that around the world, of all kinds of backgrounds, people are just propping up their phones, their two hundred dollar phones, or their five zillion dollar cameras and light studios and ring lights, and whatever using whatever they have to plop down and talk and connect with people. And sure, it's easy to get discouraged because you really want to get picked up and you want to get into the recommended and you want to get five million followers in two hours like that gorgeous lady that lives in the van with their albino snake did. But that's not going to happen to all of us. And we can't get discouraged about that because that cannot be what it's about. Because it's more about the connections. And how much would it stink to have a million people but not to actually connect with any of them? Like, I have friends in real life and friends I've never met that I'm so excited to read their comments. And to, ah, it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy to look forward to getting to know people. I just wanted to say that. And also, I'm starting to freak out a little bit about going back to Sweden because it's all different and I'm, it keeps happening that I start to feel comfortable somewhere, I start to feel at home and then it's time to go again and that's been my life for so long. Obviously I knew I wasn't going to be here forever, but the, the feeling in my stomach of, oh crap! What's going to happen? How is it going to be? How is it going to turn out? I, I get so tired of that feeling. So often, the more I start getting closer to freaking out mode, the more weirder I get. Sometimes. But of course, I'm always excited to entertain people when they're around. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> Make people laugh. Oh, something interesting happened today. My kids, I, one of them just started crying, talking about toys that we left behind in Sweden and wanting to play with them. I'm like, it's in Sweden. She was talking about her bobby car and 
some another little car that they like to ride around on. She was just devastated, wanting to play with that toy. Like, we're gonna go back to Sweden. You're gonna play with it again. It's it's in Sweden. It's waiting for us. It's really interesting to see how early it happens in little kids' minds about the concept of the things that they have that are they've left behind. I wonder if they really understand the concept that we're not going back to the ap apartment that we <coughs> moved. <coughs> I'm dying of the apartment that we moved out of. So something really amazing is going to happen tomorrow. I am going to get a glam makeover. Here's my before picture, and soon you will see the after. I'm hoping to ask my mom if she's got some nice 80s stuff. <laughs> if, I wonder if she has some some glamorous 80s things that would actually fit me. I used to fit into I, I used to fit into her wedding dress when I was a kid, so I don't think I would fit into her wedding dress now. So, but I wonder if she's got something that I would fit in that is like glam 80s. I should do some YouTube research of how to do, how to do glam um, poses. That's going to be fun. It's so artistic. So, the day did not go the way I wanted it to because I wanted to get a kazoo. Mm. So I have to wait till Monday till the stores open and go to the music village and get my dang kazoo I also wanted to get a Stroop Waffel McFlurry maybe we still will I hope so because Stroop Waffel how am I saying that my Dutch friends <laughs> Stroop Waffel that is However you say it, I'll say it with my bad American accent, Stroop Waffle. Well, that feels bad. <sighs> um, it's this beautiful Dutch thing that's like, ah, oh, how do you describe it? It's like caramely, cookie, soft. And McFlurry, you know, ice cream. Together? Oh. Oh. And it's a limited thing, so we don't know how long it will, they will have it. So we need to get it before it's too late. So, anyway, those are the things that I really wanted to do. But at least you got to spend time with Audra and Zoe and Aaron, and that was cool. And Gum. And make memories there. And Yeah, that was, that was good. If it wasn't for that, I don't know what we would have done today. We might have just sat around looking at each other. But the hard part of the day was when... We were watching Stranger Things, and it kept being really tense moments, like 13 minutes to the end. And then the kids came in, wanted to talk and hang out, and like, please watch your cartoons. <laughs> and then they came in again at like 7 minutes of the show left, and 5 minutes of the show left. And it was just like... <laughs> but, okay, what can you do? Here's um, a longer question that you could answer. Um, what kind of transitions have you been in your life, like being between houses or between jobs, and yeah, how did you deal with that, and how did you feel when you just didn't know what was going to be coming next? And my shorter question, if you would just rather keep it short and simple, is, is blue the best color in the world or what? Because I think it totally is. Okay. Hey, I'm so glad you're here, my friend. Let me give you a hug. And it's coming. I can't control it. Save yourself. It's the nostrils of death. And unibrow of awesome. And gray hairs of wisdom. Sparkle! Sparkle! Bye! I hope I'll see you tomorrow.